Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in our previous video of the deployment architecture, we had actually seen this deployment and we understood that and this was using the APIs part, right? And if you have not seen that particular video, the playlist link will be given in the description. Uh, now, what was the problem over here? The problem over here was that if you are trying to access this particular mobile through the API, you know, where the API, where the model is hosted in Amazon EC2 instance, right? It is hosted in a server. So all the time you need to have some internet connection. And suppose if you don't have internet connection, then what will happen? You'll not be able to, uh, you know, whenever you send a request to that specific API, you'll not get the response, right? So because of this, I told you that we can actually try to do it in such a way that can we convert that particular model into something else so that we can deploy that particular model directly into our phone, right? Directly into our phone so that it can be accessed in an offline mode also, right? And nowadays you have such applications a lot, right? So in this particular video, we will be discussing how we can do a mob mobile app deployment of the model using TF Lite. So for this, TensorFlow has actually come up with a model which is called as TF Lite where, uh, and, and the process is pretty much simple, which I'm going to discuss over here. So let's go ahead with the process. Now over here, I'm again going to use some of my writings uh, and I hope uh, this time I write properly. So to begin with guys, uh, the first step is usually same that uh, the model training will happen in the server. And then you will be saving the file as pkl.sev.pvh5.pt.pth or .tfjs in the TensorFlow JavaScript also it is there in those extension. Then the next step is basically that you'll try to convert this particular model to TF Lite. Now this TF Lite model is pretty much important. This is the model which will get deployed in your mobile phones, okay? In your mobile phones. And this is pretty much, pretty much, and in this actually supports both Android, you know, Android or iOS apps, or suppose if you are also trying to do it in Raspberry Pi, I'm also going to show you that reference from where you can actually um, Raspberry. Okay, now, or I think it is Raspberry, sorry, <laughs> Raspberry. Okay, so uh, uh, now what we are going to do with respect to this guys, uh, this particular TF Lite will be getting deployed. I'll be showing you the reference pages and all, but later on in my upcoming videos, I'll be also showing you an example how you can do this. Now, suppose if I just consider an Android, uh, Android app, that is basically, I want to deploy my model in the Android phone. So what we can actually do is that, we have to convert, we have to convert that whole TensorFlow model or the Keras model, right? Whichever the model it is to TF Lite, okay? So once we convert this into TF Lite and for PyTorch, I think there is something else. I'll tell you the name. Uh, I just don't remember it right now. But uh, what we are going to do, we are going to co just convert that pod mod particular model to TF Lite. And after that, we have to do the deployment of the TF Lite model using Android Studio. For iOS, there is something else which we are going to see uh, in the uh, in the reference pages that is provided by TensorFlow. But here I'm just talking about Android. But uh, later on, with respect to the videos, I'll be showing both an example, okay? So we are going to de do the deployment of the TF Lite model using Android Studio. Now, once we do it, then all we have to do is that we can capture the image from a mobile camera and then we can actually load that particular model and do the prediction. And remember, this all are in offline mode this is pretty much important this is in offline mode that basically means you do not have internet connection right and then the step sticks is that you can again connect your mobile phone with databases or s3 bucket or blob to save the output and for this you will be requiring internet connection okay just to save the data just to save the data okay and this can happen later on when, once you are connected to the data also till then it will be captured in your local uh, mobile phone itself right so let's let's try to see this but uh, i hope you have understood this is the process that we are going to follow and this is pretty much handy nowadays a lot of models and many companies demand that since many people stays in remote area and suppose they want to use an ai application within your mobile phone whether they can do that or not okay so that is also possible so uh, and remember when we are converting this into tf light the model size also decreases and uh, you'll be able to use that in your mobile phone okay now coming to the uh, coming to the next page i'm just going to come to the next page and show you the architecture how how exactly the architecture is so this is exactly the architecture how it is and again i'm going to take the same example of your car, car image classification data set so you'll be having your car images over here 
then this will actually get passed to your transfer learning model. It may be through sklearn, it may be through Keras, TensorFlow, right? It, it, it depends, right? It may be through PyTorch and any other things. Then finally, what we do is that, and this is basically trained in the server. It can be trained in the server. After this, uh, once we get the model, this model can also be stored in the S3 bucket, okay? For the versioning, for archiving and many more things. And then once we do this, we, uh, if you don't see this guys, I'll just move a little bit aside. So this is your TensorFlow API. Okay, this after this next step is basically, we will be passing through the, uh, we'll basically be converting this model to TF Lite using your TensorFlow API, okay? So this is basically where the conversion will happen. And here we are going to basically use this TensorFlow API to do that specific work. After this, the next step is that we will pass this to the Android Studio. Now, when we are passing to the Android Studio, this Android Studio will be responsible for doing the deployment in your mobile phone, okay? Once the deployment is actually done, I hope uh, this is pretty much clear. This is your Android Studio. For iOS, you'll be using different, uh, which uh, some different tool, uh, but with in case of Android phones, you'll be using Android Studio, okay? And then once we do the deployment, after doing the deployment, it will be deployed in the mobile phone. Then it is pretty much simple. We take the input from the camera and then we uh, do the prediction suppose the prediction says it is lamborghini and then the output will also be stored in s3 this prediction can be shown in offline mode okay but if 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 this mobile app wants to store the image in s3 you they have to actually try to find out a way and uh, probably they need to be connected in the internet connection right so once this is done you can see that the whole deployment process will go on right after this guys once the images are actually saved in this s3 bucket again we can start and follow the same cycle we can take these images again we can prepare the additional data set again we can use transfer learning to train that specific model then again we go back to the tensorflow light where we convert this whole tensorflow model into tensorflow light then we use android studio then we do the deployment and some, some finally all this whole combination will be going remember again i have not taken a scenario wherein you are taking some live stream data and all okay because live stream data and all can be a part of the big data type big data type or cloud type in aws you have something called as uh, kinesis stream right you have something called as kinesis stream where it can read the live data and it can store it in the uh, s3 bucket itself so i hope you have overall got an idea and this was with respect to mobile app development using tensorflow lite so in uh, this coming monday uh, i'm going to do a session wherein we will be converting a tensorflow model okay to tensorflow js okay so this js can be utilized and this is a lightweight so first we are going to start with this then we are going to go with tensorflow light so this tensorflow js can be deployed and it will basically be a lightweight so that part i'm going to show you in the monday live session which will be pretty much amazing so i hope you you understood this particular video i hope uh, uh, just follow this particular playlist guys that is your deployment architecture playlist because i'm going to show you much more complex machine learning and deep learning problem statement and what kind of architecture it will be with respect to various domain probably the next video will be with respect to air quality index and that we are going to see as we go ahead right so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you have not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video thank you one and all bye bye